Exercise 2. Model Identification. From this interface we have to open the Maglev real-time models and open the Maglev ident model. Before start the real-time simulink, we have to build the model by clicking the incremental build button. After complete the program building process, successful completion messages appeared in MATLAB command window. We have to press the connect button to connect with hardware. After that we can click the play button to run this model. We have to place the metal ball between IR detectors. Then the metal ball will be balanced against the gravitational force. We have to wait until stop the process. In this process record the all data from the hardware. After that maglev ident unload messages appeared. The final response of excitation signal and control plant output can be seen by opening the scope. This is the final response of this real-time simulation. After the real-time simulation, we have to assign the simulation output in U and Y vectors by using following MATLAB commands. This U and Y vectors are represented the input and output vectors respectively. Next, we have to type IDENT and press ENTER to open the system identification tool. Select time domain data. Input is U and the output is Y. And the import button is clicked to import the data. After imported the data, then select the range. From this input and output signals graph, we can select the range and click insert button to insert the selected range. Then select linear parametric models. From this interface we have to select OE structure and change the order into 331 order. Then click estimate button. Finally, the generated OE331 model is appeared in model ident interface. After that we have to drag and drop this model into workspace. Here the OE331 model is appeared in workspace. This identified discrete model needs to be transformed into an equivalent continuous model. Therefore, we have to use following MATLAB commands. Thereafter use the following coding to perform the transformation from T to G. Now I define the PID values for the controller. Then the maglev model transfer function can be obtained by following commands. We have to use RL tool for obtain the root locus plot. Type RL tool and press enter. Then RL tool interface is appeared. When consider the architecture, C is the controller and G is the open loop transfer function. I browse the gcont to open loop transfer function. The gcont transfer function has been included the PID controller. Therefore, no need to browse the controller. This is the root locus plot.